Hi guys, welcome you again to another today's news. Do you know that in this country that we are, the security situation of this country has migrated to a level at which the terrorists we now have in Nigeria now are doing whatever that pleases them. If someone is being kidnapped, if anybody falls victims of this kidnapping of a thing and ransom is being paid, some of them will be released and there are some people that even when you pay ransom, they are still not released. This is the level at which we are now. That's this, you know, these bandits, these terrorists are just doing whatever they like. Guess what? What is actually happening now is that, do you believe that these terrorists failed to release these 25 uh, cardinal women and 15 others, despite the fact that they've collected millions of ransom? They've collected over 9 million ransom from the you know, families and yet they failed to release these people. What are we going to do in Nigeria? Is this how we are going to continue to live our lives? Is this how we are going to continue to live in pain and agony, in distress, in fear, in panicking? Is this how we are going to continue to live? Well, let's go into the full details of the news and see what is actually happening. According to the news, Bandit took kidnapped the 25th, you know, the 25 women, pardon, and others in three communities within the Kajaru local government's area of Kaduna State have refused to release their victims despite collecting 9 million naira as ransom. The terrorists on more than 30 motorbikes had on June 30th stormed the villages and murdered over 20 residents before kidnapping the victims. Can just imagine the level of insecurity in Nigeria. Human lives are now being taken just like chickens. People are being killed, slaughtered, just like normal chicken. Is this how we're going to continue to live? Everybody is scared of going out. You can no longer travel at peace. You are traveling. You are breathing high. You are sleeping. You are opening your eyes. All because no one knows the time at which anything can happen. Before these people were kidnapped, 20 of them were already killed. You know, when these uh, terrorists attacked the community, they murdered over 20 residents even before kidnapping the victims of which they failed to release now even despite the fact that ransoms have been paid. A source told Sarah reporters, that the bandits later contacted their families and demanded a sum of 100 million naira for their release. He said the families were able to raise 9 million naira, which was sent to the gunmen, but they had refused to release the victims. The kidnappers had refused to release the 40 people, including 25 women, after paying them 9 million naira as ransom. The source said, in recent months, Kaduna had witnessed a spate of violence attack, which has led to the killing and adoption of residents. On March 28, a Kaduna born trade was attacked by gunmen, which led to the death of eight people. Many persons were also kidnapped. Some of the adopted people have regained their freedom while others are still being held captive by the terrorists. This after the train attack, 11 soldiers were killed in an attack by gunmen on a military base in the Beneguari local government area of the state. Can you just imagine all these things happening? After you have killed, then you kidnap. Series of things are happening, most especially in the northern states, and yet we have a president who is a northerner. Even the president's home state, Castina, is under huge attack. There is fear everywhere. There is panicking everywhere. There is tension in all the states. Everyone is scared. Even the most peaceful states, you know, as we speak now in Nigeria, is still under fear because... You cannot say because you are, you know, a bit secured and start moving anyhow. Anyone can be victim, probably not victim of kidnapping, but 
victim of any circumstances. This is Nigeria and a lot of things are happening. Even other countries are, you know, issuing warnings to their residents or their citizens who are in Africa, most especially those in Nigeria, on where to go and where not to go, on how to travel here and there. Recently, the indigenous people of Biafra also called on the UK High Commissioner to watch where she wants to travel to, most especially in the southeast states, wanting her not to travel anyhow because it might be dangerous for her own life. What is your thought to this? If the indigenous people of Biafra can be, you know, issuing this kind of warning to a UK you know, high commissioner, then what are we saying in Nigeria? Who else is safe in this country? We just hope that in no time, the issue of insecurity in Nigeria will be something of the past. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. But before we go, let's see people's reactions to this. Peter Pete reacted and said, Just imagine what President Muhammad Buhari's promises were before the election. All that was uh, oh no, an empty promises. What is your thought to this? You know, before the election, the mouth was sweet. Even Bola Metinobu was there. He was, you know, campaigning for Buhari, saying that everyone will start swimming, sleeping and waking in oil, in crude oil, all the youth will begin fully employed and those who are not employed will receive, you know, some certain amount every month and all of that. Look at what we are seeing now. The level at which people are losing their jobs now is high. The level of poverty in Nigeria is skyrocketing. The level of joblessness is also increasing. And the level of insecurity, banditry activities, hand robbery, and other court activities is also increasing. Commodity markets are high. The cost of livelihood is increasing day by day. And yet, you are fighting against insecurity. How is that possible? Despite the campaign promises, they are all in vain. What is your thought to this? I think this is high time. Nigerians need to do the need fuel and not sell their votes. Just look at what happened in the Ocean State gubernatorial election. Free, fair and transparent. Despite the fact that there were steps to, you know, to manipulate some things. But with the stand of the people, you know, with the unity of the people, they were able to conquer such attempts and, you know, the votes counts. Everyone's votes counted and the result was what they wished for. So, if we can do something related come 2023, of course, I'm sure we will get the best out of the best come 2023. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. Don't forget that terrorists failed to release 25 cardinal women and 15 others despite collecting 9 million era ransom. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.